Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave and we had an interesting day today. Yesterday I had some giant things that we were shipping out. Made some really good money on some nice high priced item that gave us a really good net profit. Today we've sold 21 things. We're shipping out 21 things and only one of them is a really, really good item. The rest are just fairly small profits. And I've even had some people like, why would you sell something and only make $5 on it? Well, it just depends on what it is, I suppose. Matter of fact, there are a lot of items today that sold that we're gonna make a little less than $5, $3 even on, on one. So they're not massive profits. But you know what, Just I figure it'll take me maybe an hour down here to do all the packaging and shipping. They're really, really easy. They're really, really small. Matter of fact, all of them are gonna fit in one Ikea bag, 21 sales. Now, <laughs> I gotta tell you, nine of those are uh, a little plush enema, so you can't make this stuff up. I know, I don't quite get it. But at any rate, that's awesome. So even with those sales which are, are are very low profit item sales we're not making very much money unless people decide to pay full price on them which some people have which is is terrific but even you know don't neglect the small items i don't think you should neglect those small profit items unless unless you have access to big profit items i just don't and you know i'm not a, i don't do wholesale stuff i don't get massive quantities of of high priced items to sell that i sell at a small high profit margin and then just try to turn it over that's just not what i do it's not the area i live in it's not even what i enjoy i actually enjoy this this is a hobby it's a pretty healthy hobby to have too i think it's a hobby that helps us make a little bit of money you know a lot of people have hobbies out there that are costing them money and this one's making you some money so i like old stuff i like turning a dollar into five dollars it's just what i do it's what i enjoy and if you have a new store out there or if you're a new ebayer out there I, I would encourage you to find those small flips and kind of grow into the bigger flips and every once in a while you know i have a day like this where nothing really good sold but most of the time i have one or two really good sales that i'd like and then all the other five dollar profits add up so even on a day with 21 sales i'm going to make about 125 dollars profit out of this stuff today and I can put it in one little box. So I'm okay with that. So since we sold so many of these Animan today, I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll show you one thing that's sold and then we'll give a quick thank you to somebody and then show you another thing that's sold and give you a quick thank you. And the very last item I'm, I'm gonna show you I think is my best sale. We're gonna add that to a total that we've been keeping track of for a little while. And we sold two things out of the Homeschool Hustler store. I already, actually we sold three out of the Homeschool Hustler store. And I had Turner and Reagan down here earlier to say thank you for that. Uh, they weren't to a viewer, but I have them say thank you anyways, just in case. And they came down and helped me, and Reagan helped me do some shipping. So we'll put that on the end as well, and you can see what sold out of their store. And then I had one more thing after they left sell out of the Homeschool Hustler store, and I'll show you that one. I'm not going to call them back down here. I think they're upstairs reading, uh, I think Blue Ridge Mama's reading uh, Little House on the Prairie tonight. So at any rate, let's take a look what's up. All right, here's an item. We've been selling bunches of these. Not huge profit money makers, but, you know, we had like 60 of these. So, you know, if you're going to make on average 5 to $7 profit on some of these, some of them are a little less, some of them are a little bit more, let's just say it's 5 bucks. I mean, you're going to make $300 selling these things that are super easy. I had my boy come down and just take pictures, one right after another after another, and I sat up there one Saturday morning when it was some terrible weather, and I usually get up earlier than everybody else, and I just sat there on the couch and I watched a little TV and I listed 30 of them just in, you know, a, a very, very small amount of time, maybe an hour and a half to two hours, just bang, 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 bang. And then I sat down two days later in the evening where the kids were watching a movie and I, I listed the rest of them. So, you know, you list all of them like that. I paid my oldest boy like 15 bucks, not even, I don't even remember how much it was, Seven fifty, I think it was. It took him hardly any time at all. It took me, let's say it took me three hours max and it's gonna take me another hour or so to ship them. So four hours, $300, definitely worth the profit in my book. But this one sold for eight fifty dollars plus shipping. All right, this is a viewer sale of another Animan. Like I said, you can't make this stuff up. This stuff is amazing and just blows my mind. Thank you all so much. This is from Jacob. And this is only his number two feedback. So he is a new reseller. It says, love watching your videos. You're one of the first ones I started watching that made me finally make the leap to start selling part-time. Hope this Animan brings me good luck in my future sales. Right when I ordered it, I made a sale already, bringing me good luck before it even gets here. So 
That's amazing. Hopefully it does. Thank you so much. All right, this is not one of the better ones. I thought Cleveland's a pretty good brand. There are some of these that do pretty well. This one is just not the best of sellers, but that's okay. This one sold for $7.81, so it's probably around a $3.50 to $4 profit. We'll write down $3 on our list, but I sold another club head cover, so I'll wait and show you the lost and found golf course sale in just a minute and give you an update on that. Sold a bunch of clothing today, two Liberty University items, which is kind of one of our bread and butter items. We probably sell 200 pieces of Liberty clothing a year. This is a XL Liberty football shirt, a stadium giveaway, and it sold for 13, no, it sold for 12.10, 12.10, so it's a nice probably, oh geez, I don't know, six bought, six dollar profit or so. You know, when you sell the same thing over and over and over again, you have people coming back to your store to look for those items and i sell a lot of liberty stuff so i have a lot of people constantly coming and when i list liberty items sometimes they sell pretty quick all right this one's going out to a viewer as well jessica thank you so much for your purchase we do appreciate it all right this one i picked up not too long ago at a sale and i got it really cheap and this one sold for 15 dollars plus Calculated shipping on this one, so this one's probably gonna probably it's pretty big pretty thick and heavy But it's probably still gonna fit in a uh, Padded flat rate, but it might be really tight a little trick to get some things in a padded flat rate for you If you take a poly bag you put it first in a poly bag and then press all the air out of it and suction it down You can sometimes slip it in there another way to do it is to do exactly what I just said and then to put some tape around it so that it stays shrunk. But this one's pretty thick. I can do it with jeans fairly easily, really easily, actually. There's a video over on Commonwealth Flipper doing it with a pair of jeans in a regular flat rate envelope, not even a padded one, and those are a little smaller. But this one, $15 plus shipping. All right, this one is going out, I think, to a non-viewer, but I never know, so I just need to say it, it was full price, $14.41. This one's going out to Victoria. So, if Victoria, if you're a viewer, thank you very much. All right, like I said, we sold a lot of clothing. This is something that I bought at a yard sale. I think I paid $1 for it. I may have paid $3 for two. I think they were asking two, and I paid $1.50 for two, you know, $3 and got two of them, so $1.50. And it is $14.95 plus shipping. Actually, I take it back, it's $14.95 free shipping. So this is not a high-priced sale right here, but with that low cost, and the low shipping cost here, I'm probably still going to make about nine. Let me just do some quick calculation here. Let's say 250, 55, 6, 7, 8. It's probably a $7 profit. And my wife just listed this yesterday and it sold really quickly. And the reason is because it's got the hearts. A little Valentine gift, probably. All right, this one's going out to a viewer. And this one is the one I showed the other day that had the leg side sewed on backwards here, or at least sideways. It should be sewed on like that, but it's sewed on like that. And then we had this other one right here that has the fleet upside down. And I jokingly said, we're gonna sell this for 10,000. Well, Ryan asked, he said, can I buy both of the, uh, the, the, the messed up ones? And I said, well, I said, I think I'm thinking that we'll do something special with this one down the road. And we're gonna save this one but you can absolutely have this, so I don't know. I bet you, Ryan, I bet you like the Island of Misfit cho Toys. What do you think? Anyways, thanks so much. All right, here is a Cobra Golf Club head cover. This is not an amazing one, $8.71, so it's probably around a $4 profit. It's gonna stay under four ounces, so it'll be really cheap to ship, and fees on that are like $1.30 or so. So as you can see, the theme here is a lot of easy items to list, a lot of easy items to ship, very light, very cheap to ship, but not heavy profit items. But you know what? I don't care. You make you sell 21 things for five dollars profit a piece, you're making 110 dollars. And we had a little bit better than that because the last sale was a little bit better than that. Not a lot, but a little bit. So far, we're up to 339 dollars on the lost and found golf course sale. Out of our 250 dollar investment, we seem to sell a club head cover every day. We sold two today and we have two brand new golf bags left. So that one's gonna pay off in the end. Not amazing money, but it's the kind of thing I do often, and, and it kind of gets us through. All right, this one's going out to a viewer as well, and this is going out to Kim, and Kim, you paid full price for this, and you're a viewer, so that's very, very kind of you. You don't need to do that. I love your channel, I watch every video and have learned so much. Decided I needed a good luck charm in my eBay room. Thank you, Kim, we appreciate it.
All right, here's another Liberty University item, and this one was a $3 purchase, and it's in pretty good condition. It is a dry fit team, or it's actually a fit dry. If you're looking at Nike stuff out there, dry fit stuff is better than fit dry stuff. But I think they're both probably worth picking up if you get them cheap. And it depends on what's on them, obviously. If they're just a, if this was just a generic fit dry uh, Nike team logo, you know, shirt with nothing on it, it would not be worth picking up unless you could pick it up for under a dollar. And even then, it's not a, a huge, it's going to be a very long tail item. But this one, since it is LU, and most people who go to that particular university aren't from this area. So when they're done and they graduate, they go home, they don't have access to this merchandise. And so sometimes they'll come on here and buy it from me. At any rate, this one is $21.81. So it's a really nice, probably a $13 profit on this, maybe a tick more, but that's probably about right. All right, this one's going out to viewers, it's going out to Robert. And I think I recognize your name, Robert. Have you bought some things before? And if you have, we really do appreciate it. Hey, don't forget, if you have one of these guys out there, take a picture of them and send it to my Instagram. Maybe that's what we ought to do for a contest. I'll have to think about that for a second. All right, here's the other item that sold from the kids store. It sold from the Homeschool Hustler store, and they had already left, so I figured, hey, I'll take care of this one. This is Puzzle Place. I don't know how many of y'all remember Puzzle Place out there, but these sold, I think, I don't have that screen up right now. I think they were $15.95 plus shipping, and we got these at the Goodwill, I believe, if I can recall, so they're pretty cheap. All right, this one is going out to a viewer and full price again, and it says, my husband and I are faithful viewers of your channel. We are new to eBay, and thank you for sharing your wisdom. I have to have an in -a man mascot for my special gift to my brother. We exchange uh, joke gifts every season. So God bless you, and she signs it, my father's daughter. So thanks so much, Janine. We do appreciate it. All right, I just realized this one. I probably would have led with this one, Matt. Matt's a friend of mine. This came from BK Vending and Flipping. Not Matt, a part-time picker. This is Matt from BK Vending and Flipping, and he's had a channel. We've been watching him, and he's been supporting our channel for a long time, and we enjoyed Matter of fact, I watched one of your premieres today. Matt, I enjoyed that. I watched it at school. I just had a few minutes, so I was in and out. At any rate, Matt, we do appreciate it, and this is going out to you, and you paid full price, which you definitely did not have to do, so we appreciate it. It'll be headed your way, and if y'all don't mind going out and checking out his channel, B vending and flipping go check them out and tell them i sent you all right if you waited this long here's the item this this was my best seller of the day and it is one of these horror movies let me see if i can read this one to you here well let me just tell you it's called necropolis city of the dead which is a little bit redundant so let me bore you with some history teacher stuff here necropolis nec necra a necro means dead polis means city so city of the dead so the title actually is city of the dead city of the dead <laughs> a little bit redundant polis is a greek word means uh city like indianapolis annapolis um there's a uh, some ancient cities named alexandropolis um at any rate so polis like the like the the acropolis in greece you know the high city um poles politics we get that term there um go to the poles you know so polis means city Boy, I probably just made you wish you were not back in a high school history class. <laughs> At any rate, this one's going out, and this one sold very quickly. I almost regret putting it out there for this price. At this point, it sold for twenty-five dollars plus shipping, and I listed it this morning, and it sold uh, within a couple hours. So, At any rate, twenty-five dollars plus shipping. So I'm really happy about that. And that came from the garage sale that we're calling. Uh, I love hot moms, I think is what we're calling it, because the guy I bought all this stuff had a shirt that said, I love hot moms. And strangely enough, his mom was at that garage sale. Ugh, I don't know. People are crazy. All right, so just with four videos from that, we bought a box. I think it was for $5. Now, I noticed that video has been getting some watches lately. Maybe I can link it, link it up right here. Four sales, $120, and we spent $5. So $115 profit on the... Uh, I love hot mom's garage sale. One more quick sale, and this one went out to a viewer as well, and it just came across here. Nathan, this is going out to you. We do appreciate it. All right, hang around. You can see what's sold out of the Homeschool Hustler store. One of the things that sold used to be up here. Maybe you can see the one that's missing. It's been up here for a little while. 
So maybe you can guess. A lot of you comment on what's up here every day. So at any rate, thank you all for joining us. Hang around and check that out. And then I think Reagan's going to help me ship one of those items as well. And there's always something interesting. A lot of people are commenting about the Commonwealth Cabin, and that is definitely coming along. And I have a bit of an announcement for that in the next couple of days. So thank you all so much. We'll see you next time. <laughs> You got that rotten cat. Look at that. She's going to scratch you. <laughs> okay, there you go. Away, boots. <laughs> All right, we made some homeschool hustler sales. And what do you have right there, Turner? A car. It's a car. Do you remember what uh, cartoon no. that's from? Can you show Do it to him? Goofy. No, no, let I me mean, see it. Goofy. I mean, no, no, no. I don't even know the name. All right, that is Mystery Machine. It is from Scooby Doo. Oh, yes. Yeah, Scooby Doo. Scooby -Doo. And it sold for $5 plus shipping out of your store. And I picked that up for, I don't know, I don't know if I paid a quarter or 50 cents for it at a yard sale. I remember it though. It's on one of our videos. And Reagan, what do you have? Um, Aladdin. That's Aladdin. So who's that? Jasmine. Jasmine. And that sold for $13. It is not in very good shape. So I'm happy it sold though. And I don't know, I think I paid a buck or two for it. I'm not quite sure. But it was in the yard sale. It was in the garage sale called Garage Sales and Pickers Are a Match Made in Heaven. That's what that one is called. So, Turner, can you tell me who you're... We talked about our favorite Disney movies the other day. But who's your favorite Disney character? That, I would probably pick Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen. Yeah. yeah that's no surprise, huh? Yeah. How about you, Reagan? My favorite Disney princess is Ariel. Ariel from Little Mermaid. You know who mine is? You probably don't remember. Do you remember the Jungle Book? Yeah. Do you remember I the bear in Jungle mm -hmm. Book? Oh, yeah. Do you remember his name? Yeah. No. I like no. Baloo. Oh. And you know what? I think the same guy who did Baloo is pretty much the exact same character as Little John in Robin Hood. Pretty sure. But I'll have to double check on that. All right. Thank you all. And we'll get you your money. One dollar to spend. One dollar to save. And one dollar to donate. Tell them thank you. Thank you. Thank you.